going to talk about monohull sailboats. Perfect. First of all, what is a monohull sailboat? Let's take a look at some. So I'm going to go to our yachts, all crewed yachts. I'm going to go to learn more. Okay, we're going to look in the Caribbean Virgin Islands, and here is where you select different types of yachts. And you have a choice of power yachts, sailing yachts, catamarans, trimarans, or monohulls, or motor sailors. So when we say a monohull, we're talking about a traditional yacht. When you think of a sailboat, in your mind's eye, you're typically imagining a monohull sailboat. Now they can go from the ultimate luxury tall ship, and the price for that is 100000 A crew of 25 giant luxury monohull sailboats. There are also tall ships that you can rent per cabin. You would be on a yacht with uh, perhaps 20 other people, people that you don't know, kind of like a cruise ship experience, except it's on a, it's on a sailing vessel. Awesome. And tall ships are a particular type. You can't be a tall ship unless you're a historic vessel. Some of these are actually tall ship vessels. There's a whole industry around tall ships, the people who are just really fascinated with tall ships and, and like to do that sort of vacation because they enjoy uh, being a part of the history. The tall ships have very basic historic sailing gear, pegs instead of winches. You know, they roll the sails up just like you see in you know, movies like Moby Dick. These prices that you have here, do they reflect uh -huh. um, having the whole tall ship to yourself for a week? As I'm scrolling down, I'm looking at a lot of different boats, um, and the category is monohull sailboat. These are not all tall ships. Only right. boats that are historic and designated as tall ships are tall ships. And in answer to the question regarding price, these are for private charter. So typically, when you scroll down through the search engines, they start with the most expensive and largest boat on top. So that's why we're up in this range right now. As we scroll down, we'll start seeing monohull sailboats for charter in the Caribbean that are a little bit more budget friendly for families or groups. And they can take from eight people to two people. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to some of those. We're getting down there now. Because right now, if you're looking at a boat that's 100 feet, you're going to be paying a lot for that for charter. Here we have a boat that's 95 feet, but it's only 13800 for a charter. Sincerity. Mm -hmm. Why would that be so inexpensive? Because it is a basic tall ship design. There's not going to be any air conditioning on board. An old sailboat, not real private cabins, a uh, shared head, that sort of thing. Um, but it's, look at it, it's beautiful. 1928, um, and it's still going. That is awesome. When I get down to about 80, 70, 60 feet, we get into a more affordable range for most families or groups. Now we're looking in the 80 feet foot range of monohull sailboat, and you're looking at a price range from 19 to 25,000. These are all exquisite boats with sometimes three crew on board, always a captain and a private chef, and sometimes a stew um, uh, or an engineer on board as well. So it's a, it's a fully crewed luxury sailing ex experience. Now, why would people choose a monohull sailboat like this? Because they love sailing. They like the history of sailing. And because sailing is, on a monohull sailing, sailboat, is a really traditional and beautiful experience where you can sail a lot faster than a catamaran. You can sail closer to the wind and point. You don't have to tack back and forth as much to get to your destination. They're designed to really cut through the waves and weather the bigger seas that we have here. We always have a constant trade wind blowing. The BVIs, U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands, form an archipelago that creates a sailing ground that is considered the very best in the world. So people who really want to sail, they choose a monohull sailboat. They want that experience.